Hello everyone, it is your friendly neighborhood Gaming Weasel back again with another video. In today's video, Primed, Warframe and Weapon Parts. Where to get them, what is the best way of farming them, are they worth something in Platinum? Are they going to disappear one day? Maybe, maybe not, we'll find out in the rest of the video. So, explaining what Warframe and uh, I guess Weapon, Prime Parts and Prime weapons and warframes are. Prime weapons and warframes are better variants than their normal counterparts. So, Teddy Nidus Prime, for example, compared to the ordinary Nidus, uh, we have uh, the armor values, the energy and health are different. Uh, so, 25 more health, 25 more energy, and 50 more armor to Prime Nidus instead of the normal Nidus or Warframe. Of course, they look different as well. So if I were to go to appearance, this is what Nidus Prime looks like by default. And we'll show you what uh, the ordinary Nidus Warframe looks like. As you can see in appearance wise, they look different. So there you go. We just try to show that again. There you go. So that's how it looks like. Uh, they're different also, as I said, in appearance so that is another cool thing now where do you get primed warframe and or weapon parts well you get them by opening up void relics void relics are gathered up by doing random missions playing through the star chart and doing all that cool jazz to get yourself void relics uh, now i made a video i think it was a decent time ago to farming void relics i i'm probably gonna make a new one so keep an eye on that uh, and um you can get certain relics and certain missions. Now, we also have four different, I guess, eras. We have Lith, Meso, Neo, and Oxy era relics. And every single one of these has a different assortment of primed Warframe uh, weapon parts and also just Warframe parts in general. So, let's say I want to gather up Gara Prime. As you can see, we have the common uh, right here, we have the uncommon, and then we have the rare. The, uh, the chances get higher the more you refine the relic. You refine a relic by using up Void Traces, which I showed you how to farm in one of my previous videos. And uh, you can refine it up to 100, the Radiant, which will increase, as you can see, the chances you'll see this line, I guess, broaden up. Um, once I select this, as you can see, it will increase the chance of you getting a rare. Of course, the best way you could possibly do this is if you have four people, so you included, of course, all with the same purpose of getting, for example, Gara Prime's blueprint. Uh, if all of all four of you have a Radiant Relic, and let's say all of you have five of them, the chances of you getting uh, in one of those five runs is really, really high. Well, decently high for Warframe uh, statistics and you can get that Warframe part. Of course, uh, different weapons and or Warframes have different sets. So let's say the Oxomati Prime, you want to build this or you want to sell it, you're going to need an Oxomati Prime link and then two barrels and then two Oxomati Prime receivers respectively. Now, if you already have that Prime Warframe and or weapon, you can always sell it. Even if you don't have it, you can still sell it. Maybe you want to make some quick Platinum. Now, uh, Warframe parts and or uh, I guess weapon parts are, can be sold separately or can be sold in a set. I would always recommend you sell a Warframe or a weapon, a Prime variant of course, that is the, the I guess the point of the video, in a set because it is always going to be worth more than the base variant so definitely keep that in mind. Now it always depends on the weapon and the Warframe itself so I can't really tell you any of the prices. If you're looking to make Platinum or Warframe, uh, Prime Warframe weapons and reports, you can go check up the Warframe market and then there it will tell you, you know, what kind of prices range for that certain Warframe and or weapon. Now, you refine your relic, you gather up your three friends and you're ready to go. What Warframe should you choo choose and what mission play style should you play? Well, uh, definitely go into the navigation, go to Void Fishers because here's the main way of uh, opening up your relics and choose fast missions such as Capture, Exterminate, Spy, Rescue, and Sabotage. These missions are gonna take you less than three or less than two minutes with a good squad 
And with this setup, I'm gonna tell you what to use to finish these missions as fast as possible without any hitches. Now, of course, you have to play the corresponding mission to the corresponding relic that you want to open. So let's say you wanna open up a Meso relic, you're going to have to do a Meso Fisher, same goes for Lith, Oxy, and or Neo. Now, for faster missions, I would recommend always having a, I guess, a damage dealer that's gonna kill enemies because inside of the mission, the point is to just play the mission itself. So let's say if it's a capture mission, go and capture the target, but also kill, uh, I guess, enemies that are in, in, in fact, that I actually forgot what, what the actual effect is called. And then they're gonna drop reactant, which you need 10 of to open up the relic. And then at the end of the mission, once all four of you reach the end point, you will be able to open up that relic and choose one of the four rewards that you and your friends get. Now, what Warframes are very good for these sort of fast missions? One of the best Warframes you could possibly choose is Goss. Uh, one other, the, the perfect setup that I would go for is a damage dealing Goss. Uh, for extermination missions, rescue missions, for any sort of these missions that you're gonna do is a damage dealing Goss. I would go Wisp, of course, with max strength. Uh, and a little bit of duration to increase the, the I guess, the, what's it called? the speed or haste modes uh, that can that you can place down and increase the speed of your run and also vault would be pretty good to increase the speed of your warframes even more uh, so that's three and then maybe a wukong just for funsies or maybe another uh goss just for that extra i guess coolness or even titania prime you can use her as well or then titania would depending on which one you actually have so there you go basically that is it. I'm going to show you some some booty at the end of the video just so you have some fun. Uh, weapons, Ignis Wraith, etc. Uh, these sort of weapons that are pretty cool and fun. Uh, melee weapons, fast swinging, damage dealing weapons like the Guandao Prime, for example, Nekana Prime, uh, Cronin, and these weapons are going to be pretty good. And uh, there you go, now you can see some, see some booty right here. Let's go and watch some booty at the end of the video. Uh, just to, you know, I guess keep that retention on. Uh, but yeah, basically, that is it. That is how I would form up Warframe parts and or weapon parts. And hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.